Let's talk about customizing the taskbar in Windows 11. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is if you just right click on a blank space in your taskbar, you'll notice that you have the option to enter the taskbar settings. Inside the taskbar settings, we have the opportunity to customize our taskbar and make it feel more like Windows 10 if that's something you're interested in. These first few options deal with what we see right down here. So you can see the search bar. We can have it as a full search box or we could only have it as, say, an icon if we wanted to, to create a little bit more room on our taskbar. Whether or not you want the Copilot preview on, so Copilot is right here, and we can disable that if we're not using Copilot, but I'm going to keep that on for now. Task view is this option right here. This allows us to work on multiple desktops, so I could create a second desktop where I might be saving different files. Maybe I just want to work in a nice, clean space. Um, so if you're not using multiple desktops, which I'm not right now, you can disable the task view. So we will disable that. Notice here is where we have the option to enable and disable widgets. So by default, they're actually enabled, and you'll notice that they appear over here on the left side of the screen where the start menu used to be. So you'll notice that when we click on this, we have some news over here to the right, but if we wanted to add a different widget, we could click on this plus to add widgets, and you'll notice that then we could go through and take a look at the different widgets we'd like to add. So um, this is obviously very dependent on your situation, but you might want to add like a watch list for stocks, or you could add your to-do list, or you could add just an easy way to access your photos, an easy way to access your calendar, and it would pop up and show you the events that you have coming up. So it's really based on your particular use case, but um, it's definitely something that you should be taking a look at. So I'm going to close this out for now and just know that widgets are over there. We'll go back in here to our settings, and what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down a little bit here now. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about this area right now. This is where we can customize the system tray icons. So these are the icons over here. And the way this kind of works is you'll notice that these ones are all kind of turned off, except for the touch keyboard option, which is set to show up even without a keyboard attached right now. But we could change that if we wanted to. But where you really get into customizing what we've already got on our screen is in this other system tray icons section. Um, by default, we have, say, Microsoft OneDrive enabled. You'll notice if I disable it, it disappears. It was right here. Let me enable it again so you can see it. You'll see the cloud icon. Now, if I disable it, I can still access it by clicking on this little uh, arrow right here to access the additional items here in the system tray. So you'll notice that by turning it off in this menu, we're not getting rid of it completely. We're just hiding it from the main view. Now, we could get it rid of it completely by hitting this option right here where we say hidden icon menu, you'll notice that that extra little system tray is no longer available. And some people like that. It kind of gives it a nice, fresh, clean feel, but then you don't have access to all of these um, nice little options. So I like to keep that enabled, but that's up to you. Down here in the taskbar behavior section, we have a number of things that we can modify, and some of these will make it feel more like Windows 10. So first of all, we have the taskbar alignment. You'll notice that we could align it to the left and hey, this is already feeling a lot more like Windows 10, Windows 7, the entire history of Windows OS before Windows 11. However, I like it in the center. It makes it so that my mouse can more easily access these things. If I'm way over here, I don't have to go all the way to the bottom left. It's always in the middle. So it's up to you. But if you want that old school feeling, you can choose left for your taskbar alignment. We could automatically hide it, which means that we just have to mouse over it for it to be displayed. We could close that. We can choose whether or not we want to show badges on apps. So that would mean, you know, if we're getting a notification in some of these apps, um, if you had Outlook open, do you want to see notifications, badges on top of Outlook when you're getting new emails? Same with flashing uh, on taskbar apps. So if a window pops up, a message pops up in a particular app, do you want it to flash in the taskbar letting you know, or do you not want it to flash? You can choose that here as well. There are a few more options in here. Uh, this is kind of a little option. I like this. Select the far corner of the taskbar to show the desktop. So if you have a bunch of windows open here on your desktop and you just want to get to the desktop, you can click on this straight line here to the bottom right of the taskbar and it will always bring you to your clean desktop and then you can click it again to bring back the windows that you had open. We also have this option to combine the taskbar buttons and hide labels. So you'll notice that all of these buttons down here, it's just the icon. Um, and I could change this to have it show the actual labels as well. So you can see now it now has labels down there. And then there's this option where when the taskbar is full. So it will show these labels if there's room, but if I have too many applications open, then 
uh, it won't show the actual labels. I actually like to hide the labels, so we'll set that to always. And that it pretty much covers for the personalization options here in the taskbar settings, but I do have a few more things to show you, so hang with me here. First of all, note that you can pin apps to your taskbar just like in previous versions of Windows. So I could click and drag, say, Word, and I could drag it down here to my taskbar, and now Word is easily accessible. Whenever I want to open it up, I can just click once to open it up. I can also click and drag it to a different location on the taskbar so I can order them in an order that I use the most or whatever order works for me. I also want to mention that in early versions of Windows 11, when you right clicked on the taskbar, you didn't have the option to access Task Manager, but you do now. So you can easily right click and access Task Manager to see everything that's going on on your computer. So that pretty much covers it for the built-in customization options for the taskbar here in Windows 11. However, I am going to show you an application that you can use to get more of that Windows 10 or Windows 7 feeling. But before I do that, let me mention what's missing from Windows 10. First of all, in Windows 10, you used to be able to say drag a Word document or whatever document really to an application over here on your taskbar and it would open up in that application. On Windows 11, you can no longer do that. So if you're looking for that functionality, you're not going to find it, but you can with the third party app that I'm going to mention. I also want to mention that there's no way to resize the taskbar. You'll notice when I mouse over the taskbar, I don't get the arrows that I used to get in old versions of Windows to make this really big or really small. And at the same time, there's no way to reposition the taskbar to say the left side of the screen, the right side or the top. You have to keep it on the bottom by default. And that's where the app Start All Back comes into play. So if I open up Edge here, you'll notice I'm on the website. It's just startallback.com and it tells you all of the things that it can do. So it can show labels on task icons, which we can now do in Windows 11. That You can adjust the icon size and margins. You can move the taskbar to the top left or right, as I mentioned that you could now do. And look, drag and drop stuff onto the taskbar. So essentially all of these options that we were missing here in Windows 11 that we used to have in old versions of Windows. And then it has some other options as well, some other features that it uh, introduces. So if you want to use this application, you can just download it here. You can give it a try. And you'll notice that you do have to purchase a license key if you do want to use it long term. It's $2 per key, so it's really not that expensive. So give it a try and see what you think. So that pretty much covers it for customizing the taskbar here in Windows 11. And if you want to know how you can easily add desktop shortcuts to apps, folders, and even websites to your Windows 11 desktop, check out this video right here and I show you all of the quickest ways to do that. If you found the video you're watching right now helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. Subscribe for more Windows 11 tutorials. I'm Anson Alexander and I'll see you in the next one.